All right. Welcome, everybody. We're going to be going through our uh, SD-WAN operation and deployment course. This is our two-day course. And uh, in this class, we're going to be spending our time uh, really talking about what it is about SD-WAN technology, what are the components of SD-WAN, uh, and uh, how do we implement the different features of SD-WAN. The course introduction slide here describes it basically as SD-WAN operation and deployment course teaches you how to create, manage, and operate a secure extensible network using the Viptela Cisco SD-WAN products, right? And there are probably about six or seven core products that are part of that portfolio uh, that allow us to create this, this overall architecture for software-defined WANs. Uh, so the course here is intended to provide you guys kind of an overview of the Cisco SD-WAN solution, the function of the different SD-WAN components, how to deploy those SD-WAN components uh, using the Secure Extensible Network, or what we call SEN. You'll see that acronym throughout the course, so that's what that reference is, is the Secure Extensible Network, using the, the Viptela SD-WAN solution. Uh, we'll, talk a look at, we'll take a look at kind of in the second half, this is a two-day class, so in the second half we'll take a look at how to configure and operate your overlay routing uh, in that SEN and uh, how we set up policies. And then the last thing that we'll talk about is what do we do with quality of service? Uh, we're going to uh, see that with the quality of service piece, it's going to involve the standard quality of service te uh, techniques that you see with class maps and policy maps and service policies that MQC or modular QoS for the CLI that we'll take a look at. We're also going to cover device configuration, the management and monitoring using the vManage network management system. Uh, and we're going to uh, cover the device configuration using the CLI. You're going to be doing lab exercises throughout the course as well. There's about five or six different lab exercises, pretty extensive ones, where you're going to go in and configure the different elements of the Viptela, uh, the, the Viptela network. All right. So overall, the idea and the, the, the reason you're taking this course is so that you can get an understanding of how to deploy, how to manage, how to operate this extensible network, right? Identify what the components are and the architecture of the SD-WAN solution is. How do we deploy, for example, our vEdge routers in this secure extensible network? How do we create templates that are going to aid you in deploying and operating the SEN components, uh, what about configuring and verifying the overlay routing, right? And the secure uh, extensible network components for the overlay routing. And then basically the policies that allow us to identify the applications. And of course, the most important piece of software defined networking is to provide priority to specific applications. So how do we control traffic flow in that, in that particular network? Right. And that's the uh, and that's what we're going to be focusing on in this particular class. Uh, there are no prerequisites. This is an introductory course to SD-WAN. Uh, it's very similar to the one that's part of the CCMP enterprise track, the uh, the, the implementation of SD-WAN. That's uh, a little bit more detailed, a little bit more extensive. But this course is kind of an introduction to that. Uh, you should have some knowledge of basic and, uh, you know, WAN design, uh, some technologies like MPLS, multi-protocol label switching, we'll be talking about in this class. We'll also be discussing uh, some other technologies uh, that involve things like uh, routing, specifically BGP routing and, and, uh, and color routing in the, in the form of, say, uh, different VPNs that we're going to implement to separate traffic and so on. So that's, that's pretty useful. Um, you have to have a strong understanding of routing protocol operations. We're going to have a section, it's towards the end of the class tomorrow, where we go through all the different routing protocol components and how those sit and fit into the SEN overlay piece. Uh, and specifically, we'll talk about, well, we won't focus 100% of our attention on the exterior protocols. We'll focus some attention on the interior protocols, but predominantly it's going to be BGP. Uh, a little bit, uh, because we're going to be doing a lot with things like DTLS, uh, uh, an understanding of the transport layer security functions and IPsec is also pretty useful as well in, in this particular course. 
So we'll take a look at those aspects. This is basically what our uh, overall schedule should be, right? If we, if we can follow the schedule, that'd be great. Day one, we're gonna do our course introduction and we're gonna uh, talk about uh, the SD-WAN components, the specific components. And then after lunch, we're gonna get into the secure extensible network deployment piece. So what is the, the vCloud? What is vManage? What are the v, v devices and so on? And how do we build this overall uh, SEN architecture? And then we'll take a look at an introduction to template deployment. Tomorrow, we'll finish up our template deployment discussion. Then we're gonna get into our overlay routing piece. Uh, and that's a big section, right? That, that covers most of day two. Uh, and then we're gonna start to, see, to get into uh, some policies in QoS. And hopefully we'll have a, uh, an opportunity to go through most of that, all right? So as far as uh, what you're going to kind of see in this class from a perspective of icons, uh, the vManage NMS, that's the one with the, the, the little lines, or the, the, the bar there with the, the individual lines, the smart, uh, vSmart controller, the vBond orchestrator, uh, the vEdge router, and then just a standard router. Uh, and we'll, we'll see these icons throughout the course. Uh, and of course, most importantly, we're going to be talking about what these individual pieces are and how these individual pieces come together to create the overall SD-WAN architecture. All right, so we'll see you in the next module, which is gonna be module number one.